I have now changed over to the uh, 2.8 jet and I have four and a half cc's of uh, denatured ethanol in the uh, priming pan like last time. I'm now going to start putting some air in this bottle. I've added some more kerosene. There's still a very little bit in it. I'm going to try to put in about 50 uh, strokes. And now I'll add the other one and a half cc's which is bringing this up to a total of six cc's of ethanol used for preheating. If this works this will still be considerably less than the 15 cc's that I started out with originally on this idea of the kerosene. And now of course my hope is is that uh, with a smaller jet this will have a cleaner startup, it'll be cleaner running, it won't be so problematic, etc. I'm opening it up just a little bit to see what happens. Now again, as long as it's roaring, that usually is a good sign. I've got this down low. So they don't have a lot of kerosene going through. I just want to see if I can get this preheated using the chimney. It seems to be taking hold a little better than last time. So let me go ahead and remove the top and then the rest of the chimney. Well this isn't quite as yellow as the 3.7 uh, jet, so that seems like a positive sign. This is, of course, to be expected because it's not pushing through as much fuel. Now let's see what happens when I open this up all the way. Okay, that's open all the way. And this is actually a more acceptable appearance to any kind of camp stove. A little bit of yellow like this is acceptable. The gross amount of yellow that was seen previously is not acceptable. I'll add some more air just to see what happens. Okay, that's a total of about 80 pumps of air in the bottle. This is also a test for these um, titanium protectors. For the most part, they seem to be helping. There's still some distortion that is occurring in the unprotected upper part of the uh, of the stand, the stove stand or stove uh, pot support. But this is by far a more acceptable appearance. I mean, this is getting pretty close to what you would expect for a nearly ideal kerosene type stove running. Now I have already contacted Edelrid about some of the experimentation that I've been doing, including the changing the jets and uh, I'm hoping that they will take seriously 
some of my suggestions to have at least two jets included with this stove, the 28 for kerosene, possibly also for gasoline, and the 37 possibly for gasoline, certainly okay for healthy gas. In contrast to the previous kerosene test using the 37 jet, where simmering would have been out of the question, I'm going to try to see what happens if I can get this into a simmer type state. I'll be surprised if it works. Kerosene is difficult to work with for some of these stoves. But certainly the 28 is a better shot at trying to get some kind of a simmering capability compared to the 37. That may be as low as it's going to get. I wouldn't say that that's a real low flame, but it's certainly better uh, than would be the case when you turn it up all the way, which is like that. But again, this is a very nice appearing kerosene flame. This is one of the better ones that I have seen. Now try it back down to simmer. And I have this almost completely closed off. So it really is getting close to bottoming out as far as the control valve. See what happens if that'll hold it. At probably too low. Or it's barely okay. But I don't think I can do much better than that on my Primus of the, the older MFS model. And now I'll go ahead and shut it down. Again, elevate slightly the tail end of the bottle and elevate the line so that you completely flush out any kerosene that's in the fuel line. This should take a little longer to bleed off compared to the 3.7 as you might expect. pretty good. That's pretty good.